makeup is makeuping. The girls are girling. The accessories are accessorizing. Everything is just on point from my head to my toes. Hey guys, it's your girl Liana. Welcome back to another video. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Liana. I post new videos every single week. Go watch some older videos. We can get a little bit more familiar with each other. We can get better well acquainted. You're probably going to like it here anyway, so you might as well subscribe right now. But I just filmed for a complete get ready with me from my head down to my toes. I showed how I got this makeup look, my accessories of the day, um, my outfit, and my scent. So I'm going to brunch with the girls and we're going to Lagos in NYC. So if you find that this is something that you guys are going to be interested in, keep watching. Hey, besitos. So let's just get right into things. First and foremost, I just want to shout out to my man, my man, my man. Look at these flowers. <gasps> these are so pretty. Like he literally surprised me at my job with them. I was so happy. Like what? They're so gorgeous. If my man is watching. Thank you. I love my flowers, baby. So... First things first, um, I already have my lips moisturized. This is my go-to foundation. I said this in my last video. This is the Studio Fluid um, NC46. It's done. I was at my boyfriend's house and I just used the last of it. So I re-upped. I got the foundation and I got a new pump because this pump is crusty. Like you can see, it, it's nasty. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I use the pump like directly against my face. You're not supposed to be doing that because it harbors so much bacteria that way. But I mean, I do it on a clean skin. I do it on a clean base, so, and it's my skin. So, just knew everything. It's spring, knew everything. All right, so I'm going to open it up. Do, are we still able to do back to Mac? Is that a thing still? I just remember um, we were able to like, if you had empty containers from Mac, you could bring it back. I think six of them got you like a free lipstick or a lip gloss, do they, or an eyeshadow um, in the pan. Do they still do that? I don't know because the packaging here still says back to Mac. So I'm going to save that pump. Well, save that container, maybe call them and see if I could do that. But this is just how the foundation comes, brand new, like there's no pump, no stopper. Which is crazy, because I feel like foundations nowadays, don't they always come with a pump? And it's crazy that MAC still makes you buy one by yourself. But she looks so fresh and clean now. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because I'm not the best at doing them on camera. So I just have the Anastasia uh, brow pencil, Anastasia brow freeze gel, LA Girl Pro Concealer and Toffee and I just shaped up the brows and I already used my Bobbi Brown Face Serum So I'm gonna go in to set the face. I'm gonna put my hair to the back The Hydro Grip Primer is my favorite primer, but I always talk about that so This is kind of gonna be like me I don't want to say speeding through my makeup, but like speeding through it because I just recently did a sit down talkative makeup video so I feel like I don't need to go slow and go through all the products that I use because nothing has changed nothing has changed so far this is the same face base that I just did in my other video which I'll have linked above do you guys like my braids I'm getting ready to go to brunch with my friends I have no idea what I want to wear yet but I think I want to do a blazer I don't know for some reason every time I think about blazer it just, well, every time I think about brunch, it screams blazer to me. So most likely, I'm definitely going to be wearing a blazer. I just don't know if I want to do my yellow one or a green one. We're going to this place in New York. It's called Lagos. I feel like if you're from this way, everyone knows what Lagos is. It's like, it's a very, very fun Afro, um, Afro-infused kind of food. Really, really good vibes. If you guys are still using a beauty blender to put on your makeup, please stop. I'm telling you, a brush. A brush is gonna just have your face look perfect. But we're going to brunch and I'm so excited. I don't know the last time I really like hung out with my friends, to be honest. Because, I mean, life happens. Like, I feel like it's we're, we're not little girls anymore where we could just like, oh my god, let's go to... Kim's house over the weekend like it's not that anymore we have shit to do we have shit to do so now when we make time for each other it just means a lot one thing about filming these sit down videos you gonna forget a step 
I would have and should have went in with my Huda Beauty um, color corrector to color correct under my eyes. But I feel like I didn't really need it that much today though. I will say that. I have a few videos in mind that I wanna film for spring. I have a spring lookbook, but listen, I didn't think about all of the work that it's really gonna take to film a spring lookbook, like changing my clothes and preparing and changing my accessories for six outfits. It's a lot, so um, I don't know about that. But that's probably, I don't know. It's, it's something that I wanna do, so I guess I probably will try to do it. All right, now I'm going in with my concealer. I'm trying to give like in between full glam and in between like a natural face because I don't want to do too much. I just, I don't know, I haven't been in the mood to like do full, full on glam makeup anymore as I go in between two different concealers and I say that, right? But no, that concealer is just almost done, so I needed to use something else. Is it just me or is like, do your sinuses act up as soon as you start doing your makeup? Cause now my nose is running and everything. about like when the girlies get stuff done to their face because i'm watching a creator now um basically she's been losing weight and then people are same saying that she's on those Zepic. she got the buccal fat removal and she hasn't done anything her literally her esthetician just you know backed her up and said no she never got any of that stuff done how do you guys feel about getting stuff done in general me i am pro if you don't like it fix it i am a hundred percent for it if you don't like your saggy boobs, get a boob job. If you don't like your saggy tummy, get a tummy tuck. If you don't like your flat ass, get a BBO. But touching my face is where I think I draw the line. Touching my face and ruin this masterpiece. I mean, it's not a masterpiece yet, but ruining this is crazy because I feel like when you start touching your face, you have to maintain it. And I think it's the maintenance over time that kind of makes it look a little wonky. I don't know, but maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe it's because I'm still young. Maybe when I'm like 40 and you know, I start aging, maybe I will want to get some work done. I don't know, who knows? Back to the music for you, back to the show for me. Maybe four, I'm not sure. Yeah. 
I always get these lines. I like my forehead to be nice and tight. I don't like to see any lines. I don't like to see any type of any type of lines. I don't like to see any type of when I do my forehead up wrinkles. That's just me. Um, that was the last time I had did something to my lips. When I had did them. everything that I had done with filler wise, I haven't done since I went to the last business that I had got this. I had lost all this weight and I am one forty six. And that's a big difference of weight. So, um, like I said, I don't have a reason to lie to you guys. I had to look up people, um, fat removal, because you guys said I had did that surgery for my face. Honestly, I personally don't feel like I've been told I look overdone and I have too much filler. And I'm just like, y'all must not know what overdone and too much filler looks like because me, I don't. I never told y'all I got work done. I don't think you guys would really be saying. I don't think I would really get the feedback that I have gotten. Um, I think the internet people just really try to bring people down. And I think that people actually think that sometimes it's Whoa! Like, it's you know, many things about people, which I don't understand. I never will. And you know, I can talk about that. I can talk about that. But, you know, I just realized that people do like something, they're going to say the complete opposite because they want you to feel bad about yourself if you're like someone who lets things get to you, you know what I mean? And I me, mean, if I don't want to share it, you know what I mean? I'm just not going to speak on it. But if I speak on it, I'm not going to lie. I feel like my face looks so good that I could stop right here and like don't even do eyelashes, don't even do my lips. Like I feel like the face space is just eating. Is it the braids? Is it the braids that's like snatching my face? I don't know, but I feel like I look really, really pretty. But let's finish. The area over here is so cute. It's like five minutes from the Avalon. I do love Aqua Cross Red. Right? Aqua is so nice. So, yeah, they have it so cute over here. Let's go to the Avalon because I want to go to Sephora. Like I said, I'm going to do my best. Vanilla lavender latte I've had. Because some are that good. I don't really think lavender. Great. It was such a cute little job. They were so sweet. It's like a lip plumper gloss. Like my skin is just been healing, and it's like I am somebody who always has something on my lips. Like if you know me, I might have something for my lips before I have my phone. Okay, I can't live without some having nothing on my lips. I go crazy. Like if. So the makeup is done. Is it eating? I feel like I look so good. I feel like the makeup looks really, really good. I think the braids are just giving me tropical mommy, even though I'm not on vacation and I'm home. I love my makeup. Wow. Who needs a makeup artist when you can't beat your face like this by yourself? For free. Because makeup artists be charging like $150 for a beat now. And I don't, and I don't like that. But okay. 
So since makeup is done, now it's time to figure out what we're wearing. So I'm gonna open my closet doors behind me so you guys can see what I choose. Okay, so here I am in front of my closet behind me. The first thing you do see in my closet when you walk in is this thing, because I feel like people are gonna ask me about it. it doubles as a jewelry amour. Nice, right? I feel like someone's gonna ask where this is from. It is from Amazon, I will have it linked down below. I'm in between wanting to wear this yellow blazer or the green blazer. The yellow one is cropped, the green one is full length. I don't know, what is the vibe getting? So I've decided on this outfit. It's a cropped yellow blazer with some cargo jeans. I'm gonna do clear basic heels and I'm gonna wear my white Jack Moose handbag. So this is probably gonna be my brunch fit. I'm gonna put everything on and then come back to the camera. I have on my outfit now. I don't know what it is, but I'm liking like the silver jewelry with it. I'm gonna stick with the silver vibe that I have going on. I'm gonna wear, keep on all my silver accessories so I don't have to change my necklace nor my bracelets. I'm gonna do these Bottega dupes from Shein. I think it came with the silver and the gold. Literally less than like $5 for the pack. I'll have it linked down below. So for fragrance, I'm going to do the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. I'm just gonna put it all over my chest. This is just a shimmering body oil. And then for scent of the day, I'm gonna do Twilly by Hermes. Drown. I'm going to drown myself in this. Don't hate me. I know the lighting changed. The lighting in my hallway is terrible. I'm going to have a side by side of how I actually look like in the, the genuine yellow of this. So this is the completed outfit. But this is the fit. And I love it. I feel like I look so cute. So I'm ready now. I have to head outside of the door. Let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave it down in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this style, get ready with me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.